हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इकोनॉमिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मैडम हियर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज इंडियन सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन that is also known as ism so what this indian system of medicine includes so the question arises yes my dear students indian medicine system consists of six main components they are ayurveda yoga yunani siddha homeopathy and naturopathy yes and at present there are uh, more than uh, 3000 or ne- near about 4000 ism hospitals are working and more than 24000 dispensaries are working and they are registered ism is a very effective in solving our health care problems and they are also inexpensive no doubt let us go through the main contents of ism they are ayurveda yoga yunani siddha homeopathy and naturopathy vidyarthigale ee bharatiya vaidyakiya vyavastheyalli irtakkantaha mukhyavadanta ಅಂಶಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಇವತ್ತು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅವು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದವುಗಳು ಎಂದರೆ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಯೋಗ ಯುನಾನಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಪತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಉದ್ದಗಲಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಔಷಧಿಯ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗಳು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಸೊ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಅಥವಾ ಚೌಕಟ್ಟನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಎತ್ತರಕ್ಕೆ ಬೆಳೆಸಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನೋಡಿಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಔಷಧ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಿವಾರಿಸುವಂಥ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅವು ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಖರ್ಚಿನ ಅವುಗಳು ಆಗಿವೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದೊಂದನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಎಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ Uh, that is what nothing but ayurveda so ayurveda a gift of nature to humanity no doubt so this method of medicine so uses a natural that is components uh, to that is eradicate health problems yes and the word ayurveda comes from the sanskrit word ayu its meaning is life and veda means knowledge so what is ayurveda it is nothing but knowledge of life so it gives us clear knowledge of life so ayurveda is very popular nowadays so ayurveda is very popular nowadays and people are very much interested to use ayurveda medicine uh, to overcome their health problems and because of that is adverse effects of uh, allopathic medicine and they are too expensive etc major reasons are there and take for example uh, that is in our country uh, patanjali group that is uh, ramdev baba's uh, ayurveda uh, components that is medicines are very very popular throughout the country not not only throughout the country but in other countries of the world are also they are using uh, the ayurveda products yes my dear students and another one is uh, that is yoga and what is yoga it is science which help us to coordinate our body and mind more effectively if there is no coordination between body and mind uh, definitely uh, so it is a great loss so therefore yoga teaches us so how to coordinate between mind and 
body and it promotes that is maintain uh, physical social and spiritual health uh, so always i am telling you that practice yoga so it also helps in prevention and cure of various uh, disorders or physical disorder uh, psychomatic disorders etc and yoga so eight components uh, it mainly includes uh, restraints uh, observances uh, austerity physical postures breathing exercises restraining the sense organ and contemplation meditation and samadhi these are the main eight the basic elements of yoga so uh, for take for example breathing exercise the pranayama is a very popular breathing exercise so practice pranayama my dear students so very good it is so yoga is really a science which help us or to make a balance between body and mind and it's more more effective then come to the next one that is yunani and uh, this yunani is uh, nothing but a, a system of uh, alternative medicine originated in ancient greece and practiced primarily in our country and uh, it is nothing but involving the use of herbal uh, remedies dietary practices and alternative therapies and yunani medicine addresses the prevention and treatment of diseases and this yunani uh, medicine is also very very popular in rural part of our country yunani doctors are very popular and they are less expensive yes and result is okay uh, good and another part is that is siddha what is this that is the oldest system of medicine in india so practiced in uh, south india particularly in uh, tamil nadu so it belongs to dravidian culture uh, yes and uh, it uh, insists the scientific mode of life its uh, preliminary aim is prevention and preservation of health so siddha is also the very very popular one and come to this next one that is homeopathy uh, so in nowadays uh, the homeopathic uh, medicine or uh, this science is also occupying very important place in our life uh, comparing to uh, that is allopathic allopathic is okay good uh, particularly in case of emergency we'll go for allopathic and in remaining uh, situations uh, that ayurveda and other uh, uh, science like homeopathy is very good homeopathy is a system of medicine and uh, hippoc uh, uh, take for example uh, that is introduced early uh, 1800 by the german physician samuel hahnemann uh, that is a very interesting uh, science it is uh, the main methods are uh, bleeding forging and uh, other blistering of the day etc etc these are very very uh, popular and homeopathic medicine are very very popular my dear students and come to the uh, last one that is what naturopathy yes so naturopathy is also very very popular people are fed up of that ayurveda or uh, allopathy and other medicines and nowadays it become fashion and a trend uh, to a uh, take that is naturopathy uh, treatment and special attention being here uh, that is given to uh, eating habits naturally so mostly uncooked food yes uh, naturopathic treatment is nothing but that is eating uh, raw fruits vegetables uh, uh, and uh, purificatory practices use of uh, hydrotherapy cold packs mud packs uh, bath massage and variety of methods are used by naturopathy uh, that to maintain good health and happiness yes uh, dear students this is about indian system of medicine and thank you for listening